I like, you know what? This is why they got killed. The game told me to, to order them to charge right in. It said, it said, you can order them to quickly rush any enemy by pushing up. So I'm like, okay, I'll do that. And they got fucking mulched. When I could have ordered them to just, I could have ordered them to go into the, into the side hallways. Which was the smart thing to do. No end to the things Illyrium could do there. So the game fucking trapped me. Not unless you want to carry a bomb. That was cute. Yeah, the game tricked me. If I just if I if if I had stopped and thought about it and sent them into the side hallway, that would have not nearly had been as hard as it was. I remember reading a statistic somewhere and I don't remember what it I don't remember what it was exactly but there was some absurd number some absurd percentage of um, uh, how many movies have the phrase let's get the hell out of here in them and it was like it was seriously like 92 percent or something like that it was amazingly high Punch face. Know this story, I, I I know this is gonna sound like me just hating everything, but this story is already just like I, I've read this story a million times about you know generic government conspiracy. These scientists are covering up the truth. You know what is it they're not telling us? You know if you've ever played the, if you've played the game Fear, if you've played Half Life, you know, just I've read this a million times. Are you all right, sir? Where's Falk? What happened here? I'll ask the question, son. Yes, sir. Director Falk is at the rail platform. Our orders are to escort you there immediately. Then lead the way. Call of Duty plot twist. Maybe you could have opened with that. Who are you? What the hell are you doing in the war room? Senior Agent Angela Weaver from the Bureau. The director sent me here to guard the brass. You did just fine there. Aren't you even still alive? Deems was already under outsider control when I got here. Some of them put up a fight, but not for long. 
one of their puppets attacked me earlier. What's causing this? I'm not sure, but obviously it's connected to this attack. We've been tracking cases like this for years. Deems was one of our top brass. How did he come under their control without anybody realizing? As far as we know, there's no way of telling who might be suspicious. I told you this was Mass Effect, or the, it really, really wants to be Mass Effect. Like, you know that fucking 2K was just like, we, we want... This is what I saw at E3. I was, like, watching this, and as soon as they brought up a radial menu, they were just like, as soon as, soon as you had a squad of three guys... And they were like, you can issue orders to each of your guys. And they brought up a radial menu. It was like, okay, they're ripping off Mass Effect. Look at his gun clip through his forearm. ordered us to bring any survivors to the rail platform. The diesel will only get you as far as the test site. Can we radio for evac from there? We're nearly out of time. Get to the rail platform and head out to the test site. I'll call in a Sky Ranger, collect Falk, and meet you there. If you can't reach the test site, we'll have no choice but to leave without you. General Deems. I can't believe this. All of them. Dead. He's in command now. Falk is. And until we hear otherwise, we assume that he's in charge. For all we know, he's the president. Do you really think they got Kennedy? Let's go. Hang on a second. I gotta, I'm gonna stop my recording of the footage and then restart it. Boy, that background noise is really not giving me a migraine. Not at all. I could listen to this shit all day. It's like having my head stuck up a cricket's ass. Aliens? Keep moving. Just a wild guess, Kenny. Could be aliens. Through them. Ready your weapons. Get up. We need extra firepower. How do I call in an airstrike in the middle of a warehouse? I don't fucking care. I honestly don't know what any of this shit does. I'm guessing there's a tutorial somewhere. They're dead. Whatever. I'm just like, this sounds like it hurts. Stop. 
stealth airstrikes. I'm guessing it's just some kind of little science -y gadget he does that throws fire. I'll be with you in a minute. I gotta look for unlockables. But I don't see any, so let's go. This will take us to the test site. What are we waiting for? Made it. Too fucking close. Carter, this is Falk. We are en route. Take the deal. Initial verdict, this game sucks. Okay, it doesn't suck. It's just it, it's it it it's one of those games that's worse than sucking because it's so generic. I'd rather that it sucks, you know, because at least if it sucked, I could, like, rage. It's just, it's just dull. You know, it's just a really, really dull Mass Effect clone. And I know I've only just started. But so far, it's just a really dull Mass Effect clone. Get this thing going faster. So far, I'm being fair. I'm giving it a chance. If I wasn't giving it a chance, I wouldn't have even played it. Should be a radio up there. I just hope they haven't left yet. I do have to say the voice acting is not impressing me. I mean, it, okay, like, the, the material they have to work with here, we're talking, like, you know, 1940s, we're talking 1940s CIA oper you know, 40s, 50s CIA operatives dealing with a, a gray alien invasion. There's not many ways to play this dramatically straight. I can't imagine many actors being able to work with this. But you know what I mean. I would, I would position my guys if I knew where would be a good position.
Where's that fire mission thing? Does he not have it? Behind cover. On my way. Repositioning. In position. Where's Paul? Can you see him? it off. No shit. Forces inbound to you. Really? These fuckers aren't gonna stop. Sky Ranger, how fast can you clear the test site's blast radius? Blast radius? Carter, what are you? I'm gonna start the test sequence. It's the only way to keep them from following us. And get some payback. Carter. He's right, sir. Sky Ranger's built for speed, but it's no <laughs> A black the guy? In the military? something to remember. Come on, what will they think of next? Yeah, and next thing you know, women will want to vote, and the gays will want to get married. <laughs> oh my god, this is science fiction. Listen, we're not safe, and we're sure as hell not done fighting. Do exactly what I say, and we'll get through this. No, I want you to move. Set up there. Yeah, heading there. No, fuckers. What the fuck are you doing? Whoa, hey!
cutting it close, aren't you? We're coming in. Get on board. Bye-bye. The chopper. Agent Carter, that bomb is gonna go Get to time. it. Get to the fridge. The fridge. Squad status. I got forty six. I got a backpack. Neat. I don't care. Fridges were made out of lead. That doesn't mean you're going to withstand a nuclear bomb. Or an atomic bomb or whatever. The four guys in the back are just laughing. A black guy flying a helicopter. <laughs> a black guy flying a helicopter. Gonna take more than a hole in the ground to beat those things. Just admit it, you're impressed. So, what is the Bureau anyway? Bureau of Operations and Command. Never heard of it. Bane. This base wasn't meant to be operational for another year. We've called in every operative we had earmarked for the project, but well, let's just say that we'll be. You know better, Bane. Director Falk, sir. Welcome back. These two are with me. At least this location is secure. And I intend for it to stay that way. I'll be giving a report to all staff at 0300. Report to the operations room at that time. I have a lot to prepare, Carter. Agent Weaver will show you around. Down here, Carter. Come on. When Ivan put Sputnik up, the brass got scared. This project became top priority. Off the books, of course. That did it. Hold it there. Now don't move it. All right, people. Show's over. Back to work. Yeah, yeah, a woman giving orders. Carter, this is Nico De Silva, senior field agent. Nico, you'll be sharing your workspace with Agent Carter. Welcome to the most advanced facility on Earth. Falk wants him up and running ASAP. Time is of the essence. Straight from his mouth. Gotcha. Well, come on. Our office is right over here. That Weaver is one tough broad. Yeah, she's one dizzy dame. This is, this is my desk here. Yours is over there. Get comfortable, Will. Things as they are. This is both your office and your quarters. Do you mind if I call you Will? Yes, I do mind. Well, I'm not calling you Agent Carter. I might be military. Can I call you Bunny? I prefer William. Yeah, well, I prefer Nico. Even if my mother insists on calling me Nicholas. There are some things that are just beyond our control. I can see we'll be fast friends, you and I. Glad to hear it. My supply of friends got cut a bit short lately. That all, De Silva? Ah, for now, sure. You have any questions, just ask. And one more thing. Yeah? The old man, Director Falk. He's a hard man to impress, but you managed it. Not what I expected after reading your file. 
Only pleasant surprise I've had all day. Yeah, Carter seems awfully blasé about having fought off an alien invasion. Like, my entire world paradigm would have been radically shifted. How many people around here know my history? We all know each other. Don't worry, you'll get to read up on us too. The old man thinks that the more attached we are to one another, the better we'll be in the field. The Bureau might be an adjustment for you. We work in teams here. Seems like you're more accustomed to operating alone. Yeah, well, I'm also accustomed to the enemy being human. An attack like this, it's going to mean a lot of adjustment for everybody. And a different yeah, okay, now it's too late to backpedal, Robert Patrick. The truth. Where were you this morning? Did you get caught in, in any of this? No, I was out gathering intel on a weather anomaly way out in the boondocks. Something was interfering with television and radio signals. Everything except the heavy-duty military gear. Since the attack, it's gone global. They shut down our communication just before the attack. Keep us from you know, I never thought I'd say this, but the character development in Men in Black was way more realistic. Like, I'm serious. When they brought Will Smith into the MIB headquarters, at least he was, like, he was, like, barely comprehending all the shit that was going on around him. Like, he was, like, you know, he was completely over... No, he was completely overwhelmed. You know, he didn't believe what was going on. He's like, this, this cannot possibly be real, you know? He was like, what the fuck, you know? I know that's him in every movie, but still, like... This guy, is he just kind of strolls in and he's like... He's like, what the hell was that yesterday? I saw aliens. You know, that's not the normal human reaction to getting shot at by aliens. You know, at least when Will Smith gets shot at by aliens and he gets brought into fucking NORAD, the secret MIB headquarters, he's like, oh man, what the fuck was that, yo? Like, he's, he's freaking the shit out. He's not, he's not like all cool with it. He's not like, he's not like, I want some answers. And you're gonna tell me, you know, just, he's, he's acting like a fucking cyborg. You seem like you know your way around this place. I don't typically work out of this facility. Hell, no one really did until today. I'm with the NSA, but my post for the past few months has been with a small team that reports to Director Falk. Who else is on this team? It was supposed to be kept small. And yeah, if he actually turns out to be a cyborg, that'll make a lot of sense. Tell me that's not the twist. The ones that are still alive. People were pre-selected? From where? From the military, the clandestine service, DIA, even some civvies. No one knew that they were selected until they got the call. As of this morning, Falk activated the project and sent that call out. And before today. Uh. For the last few years, it's just been a couple dozen specialists. But now, I've got a lot of new squaddies to bring up to speed. I need to get I'm so confused and overwhelmed by this. Sure thing, I well, need to sit down for a while. Sounds like the director's about to start. Come on, let's get the good... Widowed, he has such a tortured past. My wife is dead. Oh, his parents are dead. My parents are dead. <laughs>